Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you some of my top makeup recommendations. This is just kind of like a basic kit across the board. I'm gonna cover a little bit of every single product and this will be really great for somebody who's a beginner just starting out on your makeup collection or even somebody who loves makeup and you just wanna see what some of my top favorites are in each category. So if you want to see my top recommendations for a very, very simple, basic, everyday makeup kit, then keep watching. I always like starting with the base makeup, so we're going to talk about foundation. So for liquid foundation, I really recommend the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Makeup. It's drugstore, so it's kind of affordable for everyone to use, plus it gives a really nice and natural finish. If you feel like liquid foundation is a little above your head or it's just not for you, I definitely also recommend trying mineral makeup. Mineral makeup is super, super friendly for new users, and it's just basically a powder foundation, but it's formulated in a way where it's actually like pretty good for your skin. It's not gonna make you break out and it leaves a really good finish as well. It covers more than you would think. It's the first foundation I ever tried and I still use it to this day, especially on days where I wanna be a little more casual and just have a really natural finish. Next, I wanted to talk about concealers. Not all of us have completely perfect skin. I certainly don't. So concealer is very, very important to me and very dear to my heart. I actually have a full video on concealers that I put up recently recently, so if you haven't seen that, I will leave a link right over here so you can click over and watch it. But these two are some of my very favorite ones. This one is kind of an all-purpose concealer. It's by Maybelline New York. It's the Fit Me Concealer. And the great thing is you can use this on your under eyes as well as any blemishes you might have. And this is my medium range recommendation. It's the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. And I absolutely love this. This is my favorite one. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and this is my go-to product for covering the completely plus it's oil free so it doesn't tend to make me break out so I can use it on any of my blemishes to set all of that I like to use a powder now powders come in a few different types there's pressed powders and loose powders and my preference is this translucent kind of loose powder because I feel like it gives a more natural finish for every day sometimes you might see somebody looking powdery and that tends to be when they use a pressed powder and they really cake it on their face which I think is not the most pleasing look, especially to somebody who's new to makeup, because that's what gives you a really makeup-y looking look, and that is probably not what you want to look like. I find that these translucent loose powders tend to set your makeup, but still give a very glowing, natural skin kind of finish. I'm not actually sure why, but I think it's maybe because the particles are actually smaller, so instead of sitting on top of your face, it just kind of blends in for a more airbrushed finish, so I highly recommend this particular one. It's the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder and it's been one of my holy grail finishing powders for years. If you want a cheaper alternative, it's not quite the same thing, but I do know e.l.f. has a silica powder. It doesn't have the oil absorbing capabilities of this Amazonian clay version by Tarte, but it still will also give you that nice airbrushed finish. If there was any one makeup product that I would say changed people's lives when it comes to their eyeshadow, it has to be eyelid primer. I have a couple of favorites, and this is just what you use before your eye eyeshadow, your eyeliner, your mascara, anything that goes near or around your eyelids. This is going to make it last longer, it's going to make the colors truer, and it's just going to make everything not crease and stay in place and look beautiful for hours and hours longer than if you don't use this stuff. So I have two recommendations. My favorite one is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and my other equally favorite one, because I honestly use them interchangeably, is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. What I usually say if people want to have a specific recommendation between one or the other is if you tend to have oilier eyelids I feel like the Urban Decay primer potion tends to be slightly slightly ever so slightly a thicker formula so it's really great for absorbing all the oils and if you have drier eyelids then this is a slightly liquidy recommendation but honestly they both do wonders, especially if you have specific areas that you know are prone to smudging, like the outer corners of your eyes or the lower lash line or maybe even the crease. Be sure you apply this to those areas before you start and it's gonna make a world of a difference. If there's one thing I think you should honestly splurge on out of everything I'm mentioning, it has to be 
this right here. This is the Naked palette from Urban Decay and it's not necessarily that you have to get this exact palette. Even out of the Naked palettes, this is only the first one of three different versions. But basically, I recommend getting a large range, neutral, everyday palette to just use all the time in like 95% of situations. On the off chance that you're gonna use a bright color or if you're gonna like do a pop of uh, something fancy, then you can always buy individuals, but this is going to just be something that you grab for again and again and again in your collection, even if you wear more extreme makeup because it's gonna give you all those transitional colors, it's gonna give you all the smoky ones, all the highlight ones, all of the blending ones. This is invaluable. The original Naked palette I find works really really well on my skin tone and about 75% of all of the girls that I know, no matter what your skin tone is. This palette is just such a lovely thing to have. I can't recommend it enough. Obviously, I'm getting really excited in this video just talking about it. But when people ask me, oh, if I just need one eyeshadow palette, what do you recommend? It's always going to be this one. If you don't love the original Naked palette, I also love the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I love the Lorac Pro palette. I love the Bombs Nude Tude palette. It really depends on what your personal style is because every nude palette has a little bit of different nuances and different shades to choose from. So just do your research online, look at swatches, see what works for people with your similar skin tone, always feel free to go to the store and try them out yourself because there's nothing that is going to replace that actual tactile feel of having something, wearing it on your skin, putting it on your arm, or even on your eyes. So take your time to find your perfect palette because pretty soon it might become your best friend. Next is a product that I think is especially good if you tend to have hooded lids or mono lids, any lids really. I love me some gel liner and this is the very very first one that I purchased and one that I keep purchasing and will probably purchase forever and ever and always. It is MAC Fluid Line Gel Liner. I love gel liner because it can give you a really crisp clean vampy winged eye but you can also smudge it out and it'll look just like a pencil and in a pinch you can even use it as a really smoky eyelid base. If you can master gel liner you can pretty much hop to any other kind of eyeliner and it'll be a piece of cake. So this is definitely my top eyeliner recommendation for newbies. If you feel like fluid line is a little bit out of your price range, don't even worry because I know at the drugstore there are a ton of options that are really excellent. I really love the Wet n Wild gel liner and it's like three bucks. And I've also tried one from L'Oreal and Maybelline that were also really, really nice. So don't be afraid to try one of those. They are pretty dang excellent as well. Next, I wanted to talk about one of my holy, holy grail products and that is eyelash curlers. Not just any eyelash curler, but specifically my Shiseido one. I also love the Shu Omura one, which is a little bit more difficult to find nowadays. But this one is excellent because if you have flatter eyelids like I do, this one just has a really nice curve that fits my eyelid without making my eyelids pinch and it's not too curled that it like pokes anywhere really strange. This is going to be one that's a little bit different depending on your own eye shape. If you're in a price pinch and you don't wanna spend the money on the Shiseido curler, definitely try hitting up your local Japanese or Korean beauty supply store because the cheaper little eyelash curlers there tend to have a really great shape as well. The pads don't last quite as long, but it's a really great option for a lot less money. Next, I wanted to mention a mascara. This is definitely my first recommendation for makeup noobs, and it is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara. This is what I used to use on basically all of my clients when I used to do a lot of makeup jobs, and I just really like this formula. It's not too clumpy, but it really volumizes, and the waterproof formula really, really holds a lash curl, and honestly, that is the hugest problem that I know I have for my lashes. I know not everybody needs waterproof, but if you are a waterproof mascara girl, try out this mascara. It's pretty awesome. It is just like a really great basic everyday standard mascara that is going to be such a reliable partner. Lash partner. <laughs> Last up for the eyes, I wanted to mention brows. So in my opinion, one of the easiest things for a makeup newcomer to use is a pencil. So because I have black hair, I tend to look for something that's kind of an ash gray, 
slightly brown but mostly blackish gray color because that's going to look the most natural on my skin and hair color. So the one I've been using lately that isn't too expensive is the Sigma Brow Pencil. There are two shades. So sometimes if I just have like a bald patch, I like to fill it in with a dark shade and kind of do an all over color with the medium. So I've been really loving this. It looks really natural. It's what I'm wearing on my brows right now. And like I said, it's not too expensive. Moving on to cheeks. If you only have one blush, it should definitely be something that is a pinky peach with gold flecks because I swear everybody and their mom is just obsessed with this type of blush. So my recommendation is by Benefit and is their Coralista blush. It's just a nice flattering pinky peach shade and it goes well with almost every skin tone. Honestly, this looks really pretty on nearly everyone. NARS's very famous orgasm blush is also a very similar color. I love both of them. It just smells so nice and fresh and pretty. So that's just an added bonus, but this is a beautiful color. It's what I'm wearing right now. I love it and recommend it. Finally, I think it's really, really important to have an everyday MLBB, AKA My Lips But Better. I have an entire video on some of my favorite MLBB lipsticks, which if you haven't seen that video, I will also link that right over here. But this is an MLBB I've been using a lot lately. It's by NYX and it's their Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. And I know it looks kind of like this mauve color in the container, but it's actually not. Like I said, I'm wearing it right now and it looks so much like my lip color. I've really been loving this line lately. The NYX Butter Glosses just give a really nice, beautiful finish and it feels very moisturizing at the same time. So even if you don't get this exact shade, I definitely recommend checking out the Butter Glosses. So I guess that's the last of my basic products that I recommend for newbies. So if you had a favorite product when you first started wearing makeup, please let me know that down in the comments because I'm super curious and maybe it's something I haven't tried either. Also, also, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video and feel free to subscribe to see more videos. This is Jen and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you June favorites. We are finally up to the summertime. So this next tank top I got recently from my friends at Jubilee Project and this is the Doing Good is Contagious tank top.